So before we start, um, you need to check out version 017 if you want to get to the point that I'm at right now. Now what I want to do this lesson is to change this really basic title into something called um, a media object that Bootstrap provides. Just to show you how we change the HTML, that's pretty much the goal of it. Another thing that annoys me is that um, if I add a new guy here, let's say um, uh, football and uh, whatever, I add a syllabus here, it actually won't clear these guys. So let's start there. Let's make sure that these guys are actually cleared because it's very, very basic using the model binding that helps us. So what I want to do is pretty much just say, um, it's pretty simple because I'm just going to say whenever the syllabus has been updated, uh, sorry, saved. I just want to add an empty object to it. And now the model bind binding will take care of the rest of it for me. So let's uh, let's have a look. So if I do this again, if I write, um, yeah, geez, I don't know, and the lecture is doo doo and I do an add, now you'll see they're both cleared. So that was all I had to do. Because the model binding takes care of most of it for me, right? Um, and now <coughs> let's change this. Because, well, let's make it look more like a list. That's just a goal. And what I've done is, if we go to, um, to the HTML code here, I've added something called the media object, and I've added a placeholder for an image. So let's start out with the placeholder. What is that about? It's just a free place where you can go in and get something looking like this to make it, it look like, um, like an image. And, uh, and that was pretty much just the goal of it. So um, let me just try and save it to show you the difference here. So right now it's just that ugly list, but now we've converted into something looking more like a real list, right? And whenever I add a new one here, and uh, do add, it'll pop up down here. So that's the look of it. Where did I get this from? Did I make it on my own? No, I used Bootstrap's media object. So you can go to getbootstrap.com, components, and media. And you'll see this guy and here's a small example and I pretty much copy pasted that entire example and made a few changes. So let's have a look at that. What changes did I make? Well, first of all, this is the only code you have to look for right now. And again, I'm using the ng repeat. That was the one that made it so that we can run over each syllabus in the array of syllabuses. And for each of them, I'm making this media class. Inside the media class, I have something to the left polling left that is an image and that's actually the placeholder so if we go back to my uh, my code here it's actually this guy right here that's what i'm pulling left that's part of the media and then i have added something called the media body and that has a media heading of the title so if i go back to my local host here that's this guy right here and then i have my um, h6 which was just saying if i have a lecturer then use the lecture. If not, then just write on no. So it's just a way to make sure that it did put some text in there, not just a blank text. So some places it'll say unknown like here. That's because there's no lecturer for this guy. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show this lesson. Next time, let's try and add a delete button and let's play around with that. See you next time.